doesn't look very water watermilly looking like but oh, okay there's the wheel the wheel didn't kind of draw in very well and i guess there's two there's two variations of this nice so the different type of wheels paddle on the wheels oh i like that All right, welcome back to another episode of Banished, and we're playing and exploring the Colonial Charter mod. We have worked our way through several of the items. Now we're into food production, so I want to take a peek at some of these items. We're going to move some of these items. I Probably off to the side over here is going to be best, so let's go ahead and have some people clear some of this stuff out. I have the enable zero build cost, so that should clean this out without having to collect any of the resources which will leave me some space issues. Let's go ahead and just clean all that, a big area out so that I can play with this stuff over here. And we'll start up here. We'll start up on the top up here and start working through some of this. And some of these I already know, right? So, well, let's look at, look at this is the hunting log. Hunting log, it, ooh, it has a couple variations. I didn't know that the hunting log had a couple variations, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like the fact that you can have a choice of these. Some of these things I, I, I really didn't realize you can have a choice of. Can't Fishing can't have a choice of. It's fishing is fishing. So we'll put fishing down right here. And let's see here. The herbalist or the gatherer's hut. Let's rotate this around. I think that's the front. Is that the front or the back? A little hard to tell where the door is. Any variation on that? No variation on this one. I'll put that down there. And the apiary. No variation on the apiary either. I'll just drop that right there. And this tidal pool, which I thought is pretty cool. I used this tidal pool once, I think, in the last episode, where they wind up collecting... Um, Like uh, uh, seafood related stuff, shells, and uh, what, what exactly they collect. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's in here. Let's, let's look at it. Yeah, it's uh, oysters, mussels, crayfish, and uh, seaweed. A hunting blind for f getting duck. And that needs to be on the water. And we have a wharf and ship. Now this has a variation on it so you get to pick your ship i like the shorter smaller ship because uh the other one just looks so large let's see if we can put it down here yeah let's go with this one we get we can put the larger one up here like i said that that ship seems to me to be a little out of place because it's so big it's just such a huge ship all right, now that was raw food gathering. Now, raw food gathering for this is that they wind up actually gathering a couple things. And so they're, it's seal lobster and they're also catching whale. And then you can wind up from the blubber of the whale making fish oil. So that's some of the production on production chain on that one. Let's go to food refining. And we've got several variations on the windmill. Now, unfortunately, and not like um, Forest Village, where these are animated, these unfortunately are not animated. But we're going to put down some of these windmill here so we can get some look at some of these windmill. This is a water mill, which doesn't look very water water milly looking like but oh, okay there's the wheel the wheel didn't kind of draw in very well and i guess there's two there's two variations of this nice so the different type of wheels paddle on the wheels oh i like that i didn't see any variation on the other windmills maybe there's a variation on this one nope so that's the windmill we got from there so a couple different looks here for the windmills little tough as to which one you want to have. I, I like this one more than this than this one. But, okay. And the windmills, of course, are for, for doing flour. Various stuff like that. So we've got an old dairy. This was uh, the original. I think there's a new dairy. And there's no variation on this dairy. Now, these barns, there are something with this barn. So let's rotate this around. From my understanding... 
these barns can be attached to each other. Now, I'm not too sure how they attach or where they attach, but let's put this off to the side like this. And so you have a dairy parlor that can be attached to this barn somehow. Now, like I said, I'm not too sure how that attaches. But I guess you can just, oh yeah, okay. So you can dock it right up here, right off to the side right here. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. And then there was another one out of this, wasn't there? No. Okay, so those two were the combination for that. I thought that there was another one. This is the oil press that we were talking about for the blubber. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's look into... Bakery. Any variation on bakery? Not from what I can see, no variation on the bakery. We're gonna have a lot of deaths. I, I turned on... Uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of people starve off. I need to kind of reduce my population here. And let's see, that was a bakery. This is the preservist. No variation on the preservist. a smokehouse. Any variation on a smokehouse? No, not from what I can see. A salting house. No variation on a salting house. And a sugar house. No variation on a sugar house. So we're getting into items like, like this. If you start looking at it, you know, you need logs, you need barrels, you need uh, beef cuts. And you have different choices here, but the, you've got logs and barrels are the main thing. So you're going to have to have that other side of the production chain. You're going to have to have the people that are making the barrels. And this one, you again, you've got salt and barrels. And I believe that's the storage for this one. Is this uh, relatively the same? Uh, not really. Yeah, they're, they're still, they're making variations. And the sugar, the sugar house actually winds up doing for the preservists, you're going to need glassware, which is another uh, part of the production chain. So it's part of the um, refined resources, probably refined resources, either that or resource production. No, refined resources is where it'll be. Refined? Uh, refined. Right, you're gonna find glasswares and stuff like that in here. I think one of these is glasswares. Cooper, Joiner, these are all the guys that are gonna make your pottery, that are gonna make your glass. Probably somewhere in here, so my glass guy. But my point is, is that all, most of these production chains, when you're talking about coming out of Colonial Charter, you're, you're going to need some other additional item. Now, with the bakery, you just need flour, but you still need to produce the grain aspect of that, you know, preservus again is going to have to uh, do some other things. The milking barn and the milk. We've got an old dairy, which is milk. Um, apothecary. These are my uh, hunting cabins. These guys are producing flour from various items, and I believe that that is true. And again, with the water mills, the flour from various items. So those are, all, those are all really cool, right? So as you start getting these items coming in... Um, good, my population is now starting to die off, which is horrible and fantastic because I was running out of bandwidth here. I get over into this area and my bandwidth just like comes down big time. I think it's because of the population. If it's not, then it truly is the buildings that are causing the issue. Which might be 100% true, so we'll see how that all works out. Uh, let's see. So, onwards into this production. We, we took care of this row. We took care of almost this whole row, right? We did Sugar House, yep. Now we get into Crop Fields, and I believe these are all transparent fields. I'm not interested, to be honest with you, I'm not interested in the transparent fields. Only because I uh, kind of have like a little bit of a hard time finding them, to be honest with you, afterwards. So I'm not going to worry about the transparent fields. But let's look at some of these meat tineraries. Tinnery? Tinner? Tinnery? Tinnery? And that is the meat one. Ooh, I like, they got a sign in front. Okay, so if you don't really know what you're doing here. 
I've got a sign for you. Vegetable tinnery. Tinnery. Which I think is what? Preserved, right? Preserves. And uh, that was the fruit. And then we have the soup tinnery. Interesting. Tin soup. So anything that's got tin, we can then preserve this. Now, you're asking yourself, what are you going to do with all this, right? That's a great question. I haven't quite figured it out myself yet either. Because once you get to the point where you're starting to make all of these, you really don't have... Um, there's really no need for them. I mean, you, you get to the point where it's like... I, I don't have a need for all of these items. Is there a variation on the butchers? No. What makes the butcher different? Ah, uh, okay. They got a little sign there that says what type of butcher they are. Um, so that's tough. I mean, I, I come across this problem. I was, um, what was it? When I got into Mega Mods and Colonial Charter, I got to a certain point that was, I was asking the question, okay, so now what? What do I do now? My population was getting to the size that I was like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. So if I build all these production chains, great. What What is the point? Because you get to a point where it's not, Oh, you got a horse butcher? That's not very nice. Though people did used to eat horse meat. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, those questions still... Still are unanswered for me. And it's the same thing with... If you're doing Forest Village or if you're doing Banished. You get to a point where it's like, oh, I'm just maintaining... Uh, the population had something to do with the lag, for sure. I noticed. That's autosave. Okay. Um, you get to the point where it's just purely solely maintenance. And so, I, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, these are water towers. And what, is, what does a water tower really do? Windmill pumps produces water. For what? Who uses what? Is somebody that uses water in a production chain? Water tower provides clean water, which can be used in the pub kitchen. Oh, okay, to fill canteens, people enjoy this. All right, this is a part of a happiness situation. City water tank. All right, what's a city water tank to? Fast collection of water than a water tower. Hmm, interesting. All right. We're going to standard crop field, which you guys have seen a standard crop field if you played Banish. And a plantation, which I that was new to me when I started to do um, colonial charters that he had a plantation. And so what happens is, is when you select this, you will see items that are green. Those items should be planted in the plantation. And then... The other items in the are, are should be in the crop field, and so the difference between the two is the plantation stores as a good, dry good, I think, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong here, and the food stores as a food, so it shows up as a food. You could store your food in dry goods, but um, if you if it gets well, okay, I don't know if this is correct or not, so somebody correct me on this one. If you store your food in dry goods, does it show up in food? I don't think that it shows up in food. It probably just shows up in dry goods, which might be a little bit misleading if you don't know what's going on. Standard Orchard, which we know produces, right, fruits and stuff. So here's all the fruits. I guess I don't have many fruit trees. And we have a dense orchard. I don't know what a dense orchard is, other than the fact that it's producing twice as many trees. Is that, would that be true? Let's see if that's true or not. Oh, I killed my population off successfully. Disable hunger, health, and cold. And let's add in maybe about 50 people. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that works. I'm not, not entirely sure how that's going to work. We've got a standard pasture, which puts a fence around, right? 
We've got a fenceless pasture. Let's look at the fenceless pasture. Okay, it still has the building, but it doesn't have the fence. We've got one that for a slope. So if you wanted to put it on the slope, is that true? Yes, you could put it here on the slope, which is cool because if you've got mountains around now, you can use the mountains. And we have a transparent one. I'm not going to get in a transparent one. Okay, so that's all of the food production. So that was food production. Starting all the way back over here with some of the first initial items, which were like the hunters, which we put in here, and the fishing stuff that we put in here, and all the other stuff. So that was... We haven't got into the dock-related stuff. There's more of this in the dock set so that you can build on top of water. You can have food production and stuff. But we're going to look at the dock set completely separately. So I just wanted to look through this line. So... That's it. That was that was it. We actually I went through it pretty fast. I didn't think that I was going to get through it pretty f that fast. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer to to knock all those out. So that looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's put some bean there, and um, let's put something else in here. Maybe broccoli in here. We'll get a couple guys working this. I don't I don't know that we need anybody really working it, but. Just so we can have some stuff grow, I think, I suppose. And we can turn this... Since really nobody's affected by hunger anyways, we can, we can add a bunch of food in here. Just kind of help them out a little bit. Give them a helping hand. All right. Well, hey, thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we start to look at uh, the resource production. And the resource production is not going to be too bad. It's going to be mining, forestry... And then there's a couple other additional things that we can f focus on for um, items that are going to be used in the refined resources and or in the luxury um, production. Thank you very much. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.